Okay, last thing. This is part two of the tutorial on Roy Lichtenstein. Sorry about that. I'm just adjusting my mic. And with what we're going to do now is we're going to do something that lends itself to kind of his stuff, like his backgrounds and how he puts his words in and things of that nature, like sideways words and stuff. So we looked at some inspiration. And now I'm going to lend that to this image here. So I'm going to use my polygonal lasso. Once again, this is part two. So we already designed this. So this is the second section. In part two, I'm going to come to here. And I want to make like a, like a little radial, like as though it's sun rays, because that's something that Roy did a lot of. And with that, I'm going to go to Edit, Fill. I'm going to make sure it's a color fill. And I selected the blue, because I want a complementary color to red. And the opacity will leave it as is and hit OK. And now it's got a fill. All right. So now I'm going to make another one with another polygonal lasso layer right about here. good edit fill and the fill is already pre-templated so it's gonna already automatically have the color set up for you so we're gonna do that a little bit of this okay that's good edit fill good cool. we'll do the top we'll just do one up top really quick oh, bam edit fill Fill. I don't like this one. Deselect. So we'll come to here. Fill. Now, we can leave it at that select deselect now we've got a little bit of a uh, some design going on here if we don't like the edge you can go into this layer here which has all the fill and you can just simply delete parts of it that you don't want that are too close to the head so that you kinda shine a little bit brighter we don't want that there Let's take it away it's gone and now you're a lot brighter than you were. Now, last thing you're going to want to do is maybe put some text art in here. All right. So with the text art is easy. You're going to click on the T for text. I will then... It's got to be a comic sans serif because that's what we're writing. It's a comic. So go to comic. Uh, it's right up here. Sorry. Comic sans. I'm going to type the word uh, awesomeness. Make sure the foreground color is black take awesomeness and I'll put it as though I'm kind of saying it out of my mouth but that looks uh, really cheesy so what I'm gonna do is highlight awesomeness whoopsie made an extra text layer we'll throw that away highlight awesomeness good and we're gonna go to the text wrap the style we're gonna do a uh, do a rise and with the rise you can kinda change it any way you want to go up or down horizontally vertically any way you want. I'm going to make it as though I set it and now horizontally I like that. I'll click the move tool and I'll bring awesomeness down a bit and I'm going to go to edit free transform and make awesomeness really big. A little wider too. As though I'm saying it. Awesomeness. There you have it. Move tool and apply. And you can always do the dot dot dot. You know. Or just two dots if you want. You could even do dots on the opposite side. Doesn't really matter. On this side we can do dot dot dot. Awesomeness. Move tool. And there you have it. So it could be like that, but that doesn't make sense grammatically, sorry. So we'll get rid of this. But there you have the awesomeness, okay? And you can also, uh, you know, um, do a different type of word art. 
if you highlight the word, the sky's the limit, guys. You can come into here and uh, all these. There's arcs, there's uh, upper arcs, there's lower arches, and each of one of these has a way you can kind of, uh, you know, move it and apply it any way you'd want. All right, so that's just one of a few different ways you can mimic a Roy Lichtenstein image and this is it right here only thing that we didn't do that lends itself to how he did his artwork was he did everything in half tones his half tones were uh, the, the way that he did they're actually called Ben Day dots uh, Benjamin Day is this guy that mastered it and he mastered comics that's how comics are made right by putting uh, little dots to conserve ink so that it's really it looks like it's a full painting but it's just the little dots but uh that's how Roy Lichtenstein actually painted. You can kind of see like there's little dots here, but it's just the half tones from the shirt. Uh, the reason Roy Lichtenstein painted like that is because uh, a gentleman told me once in his life that Roy Lichtenstein showed his daughter a comic of Batman, I believe it was, and his daughter said, Dad, you can't paint like that. And he took it to heart, and that's the way that Roy Lichtenstein actually painted. He painted like comics with little dots and half tones. So... That's my trivia for you, and I hope you guys enjoy this, and thank you so much.